Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all doing very well. This afternoon I'm going to be doing yet another movie review. This movie is a horror anthology from the United States and Indonesia. It's a co-production. One of the stories is in the Indonesian language with English subs. The rest is all in English. Released in the year 2021, directed by Chloe Acuna, Jennifer Rita, Ryan Prowse, Stephen Kostansky, Simon Barrett and Timo Giganto. And this film is called VHS 94. So VHS 94 is about a SWAT team that infiltrate the house of a cult. Inside the house there are cult members who are dead. They're missing their eyes and so something horrible has happened. But in each room there is a TV set and with each TV set there is a cassette that has been played that has a story to them so the first story is about a storm water drain then we go to a funeral wake then a mad scientist followed by a militia group that is planning to take over the world and the wraparound story is that of the SWAT team so what happens in each and every story something you're gonna to have to find out for yourself because that's as far as I'm going with my synopsis now my thoughts on VHS 94. I am a fan of this series. Although the series isn't great, I still really like the idea to them. And some of the stories within these installments were very good. So you got the first VHS that I loved the first story to. And the first story really made the whole film. The rest of the stories weren't as good. But I still thought that first story about these guys taking this woman back to their hotel, I thought that was really freaky. And ultimately at the end of VHS 1, I thought it was a little bit disappointing because it really set the bar very high very early. But then I thought, okay, well that was a, a, a decent first effort. Then the second film came on, VHS 2, and I thought that was fantastic, especially the Indonesian segment. And so coming into VHS Viral, I had massive expectations, and that movie was very mediocre. So there were still elements I kind of liked about it, but overall it was a real letdown. So it really went downhill after that, and I thought, all right, well hopefully VHS 94 is going to revitalize the series, going to put some life back into it and really make it a franchise that I could be very excited for once again. And so after watching VHS 94, I will say it's a massive step up from VHS Viral, which was a relief, but ultimately not enough to really get me excited. I thought the, the caliber of these directors, I was expecting a little bit more. I thought as though once again the Indonesian segment was by far the most balls to the wall crazy, but the other segments, they weren't terrible. It was nothing like VHS Viral, but it was still not enough to really get me that excited as far as the first segment of the first film did. And so you've got a whole wide range of movies that go from paranormal, that goes from paranoia, and also gore effects, you know, straight out gore, crazy sort of Asian style horror. And so you have a mixture of uh, directors who produ uh, produce a mixture of uh, segments. And I thought as though for the majority of the segments were watchable, but ultimately nothing that really wowed me. So I will say my favourite segment was the last segment featuring the American militia. I thought that was fantastic. And I would actually like to see that made into a feature film. And so as far as short movies are concerned, some of the overall short films worked and some of the other movies I wanted a little bit more from. And so this is something that does plague a lot of horror anthologies when you've got short stories that are told in a way where you want more. And that, so that doesn't really nail the brief as far as what a short story should do. It should wrap up all all possible avenues and finish it right then and there but unfortunately VHS 94 there were some stories that I actually thought could have been made into feature films and so it didn't really nail the life uh, the lifespan of what a short film should do so the acting was fairly good. I thought the gore effects, this really steps it up as far as gore is concerned. And I really liked some of the, the gore effects that actually take place in this film, especially that Indonesian segment. Timo Giganto is very well known for his gory horror films and he doesn't disappoint in his segment featuring a mad scientist. So the overall creepiness that VHS series has, I thought was very evident in this movie. So it does keep true to what made VHS the franchise that it is. But unfortunately, it doesn't really provide that shadow of its own. It doesn't really knock it out of the park. It, I just felt as though it was a step up from VHS Viral, which is not hard to do because Viral was actually quite terrible, but it just doesn't really get back onto that, uh, onto that pedestal. It doesn't get back on the horse and gallop away in actually making a franchise where you're really excited for the next, uh, next installment. So that's ultimately the issue with VHS 94. Yes, it was watchable, but unfortunately, that's as far as I would go with it. I was a little bit underwhelmed after I watched uh, all five shorts. And I thought the wraparound story was very weak. It kind of, it finished very abruptly and I thought as though it was rushed. And so it just, I, I felt as though there were some stories that were better than others and it just didn't combine for an overall piece, which is unfortunately the issue I have with the whole VHS franchise. Even the one I love the most, the second installment, I thought, yes, there were stories that were much better than others. It didn't have a re real strong consistency to it. And so VHS 94, I will say that there were no really you know, weak stories 
but unfortunately there were two stories I can mention in particular that were a lot better than the others and so the consistency is not there and so that was unfortunately the issue I had with VHS 94 but it is watchable if you are a fan of VHS and you were disappointed with viral 94 is definitely a step in the right direction and who knows where this franchise will go from here on out so overall for VHS 94 gonna give this one two and a half stars it's not terrible very watchable but nothing outstanding Alright guys, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching movies and I'll see you later.